people today we are going to make a home remedy for blood pressure I know this works because it has worked for me and the three ingredients that I am going to use is jalapeno pepper now that is optional beetroot and garlic we're going to go outside pick some jalapeno peppers excuse my dogs they choose the back every time I pick up this camera so we're going to make the jalapeno go outside we're going to go outside, pick the jalapeno peppers. We're going to use the beetroot that I have and garlic. Boil them and strain them. You can drink this hot or you can drink this cold. I would recommend this drink mostly when you're more or less, uh, more so, sorry, in the hypotensive state. That means when your blood pressure is severely high and need emergency treatment. You know, you combine all these three ingredients together. If not, and they're just slightly high, you just boil the garlic and drink it. Or you just boil your beetroot, drink the water, or you could juice the beetroot and drink the beetroot juice. So those of you who don't like beetroot juice per se, you can boil it and get everything out of that beetroot and drink it water cold or hot. So let's go outside, pick our jalapeno peppers and come back inside and put this tea together and while the videos while the video goes along i will explain how great beetroot and garlic is for high blood pressure so let's get started now let's go to the garden and pick the jalapeno and while we're in the garden i'm just going to show you give you an up-to-date on the garden you can see how much the plantains have grown ladies and gentlemen you all saw it from the beginning stage and you see how much it has grown i have pumpkin and my thyme my lime tree all right so before i continue showing you how my garden is going let's go and pick the jalapeno pepper right now let's show you my time now i don't know where this pumpkin tree come from and start to grow in the center there but i feel it's in the manual i transplanted my small thyme because it was giving some trouble so i see it's catching itself and i have a pepper tree i'm not sure if it's a pepper tree or a hot pepper or sweet pepper and i have some more pimento growing there and that is a, a branch off from the big tree which is this one here this is already flowers and yet again since this thing started to flowers and give pimento it hasn't stopped ladies and gentlemen very faithful pimento tree it took a year before it started to eh? my mango tree is still flowering. i uh, didn't get a good shot because it was really overcast we're having a lot of rain in the caribbean as you can see my tank is overflowing at the moment and my yard is full of water i have some pumpkin this pumpkin was so sweet i needed to get back this pumpkin so i decided to let that grow in that tub that i have there i need to get some manure and fix it up and um inside i have some hot pepper it's coming along nicely i will transplant it soon enough all right and now let's get into this recipe we have the jalapeno we have the garlic and we have the beetroot so now let's get into putting all the ingredients together and i'm going to let that come to a boil i use five garlic half of the jalapeno and um two nice pieces of the beetroot all right and i'm going to let that come to a boil and when it has come to a boil i'm going to let it boil for one minute so right here I'm, it has come to a boil so i'm going to leave that to boil for a minute so the reason why beetroot is so good for high blood pressure is because it contains nitrate a chemical that reduces blood pressure therefore cuts the risk of heart disease and stroke so you see how wonderful beetroot is you can use the truth and now if you choose this you're gonna get a better effect but if you don't like that beetroot taste that beetroot flavor 
you can just boil it like this and you're extracting everything from the beetroot and also let's get into the garlic now simply put ladies and gentlemen it regulates nitric oxide and also therefore promoting the production of hydrogen sulfide so it is very good and before I place the boiled water that we had on the stove I had some extra garlic in my glass and then poured the water let me show you again this is the garlic I add extra garlic because I really like my tea strong especially when my blood pressure is a little highish <laughs> so I place a little extra garlic I just needed to show you all that that is optional you don't need to do that thanks for watching guys come again